Welcome back to Muffy Malone Brewing, where today we're going to be making pumpkin curry and beer. Okay, so let's talk a bit about how we're going to brew this beer. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following the BJCP guidelines for like an American Pale Ale. And then we are going to be using 87% two row Pale Ale malt, 8% of light crystal and 4% of caramalt. That should give us an original gravity of about 1051. On the hops for this beer, we're gonna use Galaxy and Citra. We're gonna do a 60 minute boil and aim for about 33 IBUs. And then the yeast we'll be using will be Fermentus SO4 English Ale yeast. Following that, to get the pumpkin curry flavor that I'm looking for, we're gonna be using some dry spices uh, during the boil, a bit like you would use the hops. And we're also going to uh, roast some of the fresh pumpkin from my garden, uh, which will be added at the start of fermentation to give the beer hopefully a nice pumpkin-y flavor. <laughs> pre-boil of 1040 and now we're at a boil and we're ready to add our hops which is five grams of citra and five grams of galaxy and they will be in for 60 minutes okay so we're also going to add at 60 minutes our curry spice so what we have here is a really really small pinch of a cinnamon stick uh, a pinch of chili and a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of coriander. And they're gonna go in now. So we'll let that tick away now and then we will get that ready for cooling.
And here we have it, the pumpkin curry beer. So the beer turned out with a final gravity of 10.13 for 5% ABV. The aroma on the beer is really awesome. You get lots of curry notes to it, but nothing too overwhelming or strong, uh, making it a pretty pleasant beer. In terms of the flavor, Flavor-wise, you get a really nice, creamy, rich mouthfeel with subtle flavors of pumpkin and the curry spices that we use. I think restraint was something that was really good with this beer because it's something where you can have a few pints of it and not feel overwhelmed by any particular flavor. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. If I could do anything again is I would probably pay more attention to cold crushing when finishing the beer. Um, the, upon kegging it did have a bit of cloudiness that did clear up with a bit of age, but if you agitate your keg at all, um, it's, it's obviously got lots of sediment in there still, which I think would have been better with cold crushing. But apart from that, a really good, really drinkable beer and really happy with the outcome. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.